Hello, um, just uh, showing you guys uh, the new um, Bassard for the 1350 NX01. Uh, since we switched to a, a remote control, fully automatic remote control system for this board and set up um, the wiring of the uh, the Bassard, excuse me, the nacelle navigation lights are in the, in the rear of the nacelle is, is going to be different. We, since we're using a different switching technology, we have to wire it up differently. So we added, um, I believe it was two more wires coming up here on the ribbon cable. Um, you can see the blue wire supplies 12 volts to the 12 or 9 volts to the LED strip. The minus of the LED strip is the green wire. Okay and uh, that will go to one of our outputs as you'll see in the instructions later. Um, this red wire <clears throat> brings the 12, it's spliced into the blue here because this is going to supply the positive voltage to the um, rear uh, nacelle navigation LED and this is the trigger um, for the uh, rear uh, nacelle LED, okay? We've, uh, it's the yellow wire come from the ribbon. We chose another yellow wire to give you some length to work it back towards the rear end of the nacelle, okay? So we try to cover all the bases for you guys to make it easy. Uh, we don't have an actual NX nacelle anymore. It was many years ago we did this, so we're gonna have to kind of play it by ear as we do the video. And we're back, guys. All right, uh, what you're looking at is a uh, mock-up of the NX01, the 1350 scale control system. It's the remote control and control board all in one right here. Very easy to put together. Two connectors, you're done. All right, what do we have? We're showing you the rear nacelles. Um, excuse me. These are the rear navigation lights on the nacelles on this side and that side. These LED strips right here represent the blue um, grills on the side of the nacelles. These two lights, uh, as you can tell, it says if you can read it, uh, it says impulse engines. That's the strobe. Uh, again, we're not showing you all the connections, just indicative of the function. And this one is representative of the internal lighting. Uh, and of course, <clears throat> we have the um, plasma effect facades on the left and right. So right now they're all off. <clears throat> all the lights are off. Well, we have a four button remote control system that operates all of this. And if we hit the fourth button, it turns them all on. And just a quick and easy way to get your full lighting effect on. Now, if you hit button one, what will happen is you're gonna see it. It takes, there's a built-in time delay to recognize the button push. You notice the nacelle, excuse me, the navigation lights went off, okay? If you hit button two, you're gonna notice um, that the, um, in this case, the impulse engines went off. Now, if we go back to button one, let's say, if you hit it twice, something else is gonna shut off, okay? The blue side nacelle lights go off as well as the internal lights. All right, now if we hit the, um, uh, what was it? Was a button? Let's button two twice. Okay, the strobe went off. I almost forgot which button I was pressing. So they're all off, and you notice the plasma effect bassards uh, still obviously on. Now if you hit button three, you can slow them down. The effect that is. Hit it again, it goes a little bit slower. If you hit it again, it slows it down some more. Okay. And if you hit it again, it goes off. So pretty neat, huh? All those functionality, all at your fingertips. And believe it or not, uh, we're able to get all of this control system at a lower price point than the original NX control system. So that was pretty uh, decent feat in it of itself. Plus uh, this control has uh, transistors on it that have a 10 amp capability. The, only, the other ones had a three. So in other words, uh, they're much more robust you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. Um, so there you have it. And because it's um, it's got connectors on of a four pin and an eight pin right there, um, you can unconnect it. And if you choose to put this control 
in the base if we ever have any uh, software modifications to let's say jazz up the effects here um, you can actually unplug two connectors send it back to us we'll reprogram it for you and send it on back to you so that's pretty sweet in it of itself or if because it's a remote control system you can put it inside the ship um, and you're done because it'll, the radio frequency will travel through the plastic uh, no problem so here we have it guys brand new system for you guys enjoy it